parents. Generation says she's not coming back, mm -hmm. right? She posts, I will not be going back on Generation. Hey, 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 we want you on Generations. We are never ever going to watch Generations without yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So they they take a hype on on the likes and the comments. You know, they're popular. They're popular. Correct. Well, but yeah. they hype on that. Uh, I also saw an interview with the wife here, this guy, what drip? What's yes. his name? Yes. Mr. Likau. Likau, yeah. right? And you know, Abuti, I felt that woman's pain to the core mm. of, of staying with someone who's a celebrity or who's in the limelight. And they use that against you. You already know that if I come out and say, this is what I'm going through, I'm not going to get my street justice, mm. if you know what I mean. Yeah. Right? No one is going to believe me. Right? And Leto has always been abusing this. Mm. For one thing, for the other. When she was with me, I watched her do it against her exes. Mm. And it worked. Mm. It worked like you will not believe. Right? And remember, in me watching that, it's also creating... Um, yeah, mm -hmm. in me. Mm -hmm. That yo, if I ever break up with this person, yeah, I guess Andy can mm. because there's no publicly fighting her, which is why I took a decision. I'm going to do this. I do not care who's gonna hear my story, but I am going to put it out there so that it's in record mm. because Latoya has done nothing but manipulate connive and lie to the society. Let her speak the truth. Mm. Let her tell the truth. She's sitting there playing victim. She's done nothing all her life but play victim. But play victim. I can tell you stories, horror stories, from people who are saying, it had to, it had to take you to be in this position for you to understand even what these men that she was with were going through. They just felt very voiceless. Mm. You've got a privilege there whose main focus in life is to just sell Daha. I support Lekau's wife. I, I'm glad she spoke out because these people are abusing us. We know the abuse that we live with. Mm. We know. And there's a woman who's sitting with 1.5 million Facebook followers, almost a million uh, Instagram followers, 200,000 uh, 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 ex. Twitter, yeah. F followers, yeah. right? When I got married to her, because of what was happening, whatever, I thought this thing's gonna drive me mad. I closed all my social media accounts. I'm not mm. even on social media. Mm. I'm not even on social media, right? She hires influencers to attack me. I'm not even there. Mm. The only thing that I can do is to tell my truth. Mm. She is lying, but she knows that her lies will be supported because of her followers. Mm. But I do not care about that because I've got a conscience unlike her. Mm. And my truth is between me and my God, not the public. I don't need anyone's affirmation. Mm. I don't need anyone's approval to survive. I'm not her. I don't hope as constantly as she does from one relationship to the other, mm. put the blame on other people. Mm. I've got exes. I don't go around painting them black mm. to mm. the whole society for me to try and look good. Latoya needs to go onto the mirror and look at herself. Mm. She has done nothing in life but fuck up. Mm. Latoya fucks up. Mm. Latoya is fucked up. Mm. And Latoya moves from people to other people. Right now it's her. Mas Chaba this, Ntete this. People that she met, we met together recently. Right? She saw an opportunity there. She's going on and uh, them, this, them, this, them, this. Wait until she fucks Mas Chaba's husband. Hmm? She'll teach Mas Chaba a lesson. Hmm? If she could sleep with her own sister's husband. Hmm? And this person plays a victim. No, it's always someone's fault. This is what, this is the torture I went through in my marriage. A, point, a finger was always pointed at someone. Huh. Look at this, Mkul. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Look at, I don't know how many times I've said this to her. Mm. You know, no one is hearing me out. I don't know how many times in my marriage have I said to Latoya, Latoya, stop lying. 
Ying. It was a big thing in our marriage. The lies. The lies. Latoya lies. The way Latoya lies is frustrating. Do you know when you get to a point in your marriage where you just like, okay. Why are you saying, okay, okay, at this point, I don't know if you're telling me the truth or not. We got to that point. No, I'm lying because I'm scared. Okay, are you scared of what? Because eventually when the truth comes out, this is what puts you in an awkward position that you actually need Correct. to be scared about. Correct. Because if you tell the truth, yeah. the person must accept yeah. the truth for what it is, what it is yeah. uh, or not. And it's either the person deals with the truth yeah. or they do not. Yeah. But at least you know that you could have told your truth. Yeah. So what's the point of telling the lie? Because yeah. more often than not, actually, even the lies that you tell gets you into more trouble than when you could have just told the truth. Mm. You speak about lies, um, persistent lies to me, which... I mean, I can't diagnose a person. I'm not a medical professional, but it sounds like pathological lying. Or she you're in, is. Or you're insinuating pathological lying. I'm not insinuating um, it. I'm saying she is a pathological liar. In the media recently, there's a story on, on, on television where there's a young gentleman who says even Um Sebenzi, the work that she does with Indumba and her ancestry, that's also a lie. I mean, I think the name of the show is Fake Kobela. Yes. Um, you also alluded earlier on that... The work that she built with Indum, it Indumba and her ancestry, it's actually your intellectual property. You've done all the research. You you have the book that you've helped her do the, the multi things in. the points where you'd have to play the drum. Um, just take me through that. Um, okay. It, uh, not, yeah. Your concept is your intellectual property, but I don't want it. I don't want ownership to it because uh, actually as soon as I parted ways with her is as soon as uh, I parted ways with that lifestyle. Okay. I'm happy going home. Going back to God. Going back to God. Sure. Uh, and by the way, God has never gone anywhere. But I've just said Power. to my God, yeah. listen, you've taught me not to judge. Mm -hmm. You've taught me uh, to love mm -hmm. another human being the same yeah. way that you love me. Sure. So sure. I'm taking her with everything that she is. Correct. The only thing that... I could have done was to continue having a better relationship with my God. I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. but I kind of like moved away from that a bit. Okay. Right. On the matter of uh, fake Gobela, Lugel. Now, I'm gonna sit here, right, and say to you, I'm I'm now confirming to you, and actually, I wish I can have a show on uh, fake Gobela. Uh, Mojana fig mm -hmm. and confirm to them that yes, Latoya is a fig gobella. Mm. She's a fig gobella. Let me tell you why. If she could sit in that show and say to this boy, You are an agent of the devil. Now I'm the devil. So this boy is the agent, right? This cabello boy. Mm. This is a boy I met for two days in my house before I kicked Latoya out of the house. Mm. In the two days, I don't have an interaction of more than personal five hours with this boy. Mm -hmm. And I've never sent this boy to a bottle store, mm -hmm. personally. If he was sent, he was sent by letter. I've hardly ever interacted with this boy, right? Until the time when they were leaving. And he just came to me to say, but my family left me here. What am I going to say to my family? I said to him, those are things for you to discuss with Latoya. But I want to get involved. I just want you guys out of here, right? I've never had any interaction with this boy. No interaction whatsoever, right? As it stands, I'm trying to get people to try and find him because I want to have a conversation with this boy. Mm. So you are saying you are a gobella, right? Or you're sangom. So you're going on a show, you're sangom. You're saying you are shakubai. And... The devil has sent an agent. Hmm. I've never done that. So you are a bloody fake gobella because I'm a simba. I call him to a I've never sent this boy. I don't know where this boy is. Actually, after they left my house, I did not give a damn. 
about her, what's happening with her, I blocked her, I forgot her existence. Mm. So how am I now finding uh, Litwasa? No, as far as I'm concerned, they're still together wherever they are. Oh, to this boy who I'm bending, I really don't know, Lugelo. I really don't know. So you go on national TV to say I'm not a fake gobel, but prove that you're a fake gobel. Huh. So because... People who watch Faye Gobella are people who've tossed or initiated like her. They believe one another because maybe Bashakuba Manga Bongike. Because they believe the fact that Ushakube Uguti, Ubo Nuguti, I'm the devil who sent an agent. I did not. I did not. I did not send this boy. She Shakuba bullshit. I've got nothing to do with this. Yeah. So she proved just how much of a Faye Gobella she is. So one of the things that's surprising me on this show is. She's saying she charges 10,000 rands. How? For people to come into us. This person used to charge 50,000 rands. How much? 50. Five zero. Yeah. And before you come in, you must pay 20,000 rands. Just to see her. Right now, actually, as we speak, one of the girls who came into Twasa sometime last day is like, I, I've actually been trying to find you and Latoya. So someone showed me, or I saw the show, Yafi Gobela. Latoya took my 20,000 rands. I've been begging her that I know I didn't stay for over a week, but I was saying at least she must return my 10,000 rands. Hmm. I said, hey, ni yang fag. Hmm. Because once again, I'm going to be told, called an agent. Hmm. A devil that sent an agent. I said, find a way of dealing with it. She says, I want my money back. How was I charged 50,000 rands? She's saying she's charging 10,000 rands. How is Latoya in January a breadwinner? January, ne? Because I kicked out of my house on the 1st of January. How is she taking 2,800 rands from someone she's saying she was doing him a favor? Huh? And at this point, she went where she went. She even stole. She's the one who stole. She took groceries from the house. Literally took groceries. I was going to share for her equal world, something, help them out if they needed help. They left with groceries. So that shows you her financial status. Why did she take 2,800 rents from that boy? Huh? In January, when she doesn't have resources, she says she was doing him a favor. Instead of answering, well, oh, and then she goes on to say she was being beaten up, and, and, and who the hell was beating her up? I was hardly in the house for those two weeks until I came back a couple of days before New Year. I was hardly in the house. Letoya and I were done. Nkulu. We were done. I did not want her in my bedroom. I did not want her anywhere near me. Yeah. I was suffering so much emotionally. Every time I saw Latoya, I haven't vomited ever since the beginning of this year. I don't know what vomit looks like. She knows when I'm angry. When I'm emotionally not okay. Yeah. The first reaction from my body is to vomit. I did nothing but vomit. To a point that after she cheated on me, the one time I tried to make love to her, I vomited on her. Mm. So she's going to fake Gobella to say she's lying. She was being beaten around. She was, I was so not, all I kept on asking her is for her to leave my house because I've got nowhere else to go. She's got family. She's got, I've got nowhere to go. She must leave. We were hardly even talking. We were walking past one another when I was there. I was not beating the trap. She's lying. She's lying. And the assault in my marriage, I am reiterating. It's something she refuses to talk about in the interviews. They were started by Latoya. Latoya has assaulted me three times before I defended myself the fourth time. And these three times when I was assaulted, I never mentioned. She's talking about when I defended myself. She wants to glamorize that. So she is not taking responsibility. Every time she's been interviewed, every time she's been asked questions about where the assault starts, she, she, she runs away from me. She does not answer. Do you know what I was told? When Latoya hit me the first time, do you know what her father said? 
I told you when you married her that you are marrying Umdwana Wamal Dose. Go corner, let Dose lend daughter. Elena jealous. Horwen Unyazi Wana Oa Musad. So you need to understand how Unyazi Lisango Meni. Yeah, yeah. Oshapuagil Dose. Our letter is not violent to Shapuagil. Cool. Talk about the mind fuck. Huh? Hey, you know, when you now start even saying, hey, maybe we intellectualize, intellectualize life too much, Robin. You're thinking, hey, no sense of work in my house. That is how it was justified. Yeah. with a Nigerian drug deal. Who did like it was last Feb? And it's at this point, Kiri, man. So, how can I live with Rosila Medarago? So, yeah. So basically, I can I can have a pill. On the left, I can control what I give my rose. So Latoya is perfect. This wife I'm married to is perfect. But this my rose is better. In different, hey man, who na le na who to give butinyan? I lean you see the rose leo. Kilo na na lean chap butinyan. Who to butinyan na ona le square? Who Latoya ko balale musadi? Her grandmother to my face, to my face. When this matter of the went and cheated with him, are, what were you thinking when? Because how not baby? Kiri kong kunwake. Let the two men that she was married to, Banan Lidi, baby. She cheated on and she was not apologetic about it. She called the family and the one man to say, I've cheated on him, I no longer want him. Kiri so born because never had a baby, not in a limit one. Why did she cheat on that? So it's true when they say, when someone tells you who they are, believe them. Believe them. She, she told me. I can't even deny it. She told him that I cheated on them. The ones manhood was, oh, both of them, by the way. Their manhood was struggling. I guess that is why she could settle for fingers. Um, and not only that, they used to say, it's a my kilo panda. So when you are a man and you are saying, especially the second one, at least this one, the other one was a drug deal. So you could feed Latoya and the kids with the drug man, which is what he's still doing right now. So the second one was useless, useless, useless. He used to say to Latoya straight on the face, Zamolo Panda. So Latoya used to go and panda and bring back money home. Yep. So I was asking the grandmother, so na I cannot peep. But the other two never nailed the peep. So why was she cheating? I'm still waiting for an answer. Lebo, a lot has happened. A in, lot, I would. In, in, in your relationship. Um, and I hope there is healing because you, you, you've you been an activist for gender-based violence. You've helped other people heal. You've helped other people begin their own healing journey. And I hope one... As you are speaking, as you said, that the reason you are speaking is because you're a voice for people who are voiceless, who are um, allegedly harmed by celebrities, right? Yeah. Um, and I hope by you coming to platforms like these where you can be able to have your thoughts, to have your truth expressed, it is helping you in your healing process. I do further suggest that you go back to who you are. You, you said something yeah. special to me that at the beginning of this conversation, you said, your relationship with God and how you were raised with God shaped you and made you yeah. the beautiful, kind person who's self-sufficient, yeah. who just trusts in God, who's self-aware. Because when you're self-aware in life, you're able to make healthy yeah. decisions. Yeah. You're able to have boundaries. Yeah. You're able to spot red flags. Yeah. So I hope as you progress in this journey that you find healing more than anything. Yeah. Um, I can see the good person in you. Yeah. Um, you are speaking out okay. of hurt like any other person who's been hurt, who has loved and love didn't serve them back. And I really, really hope in, in conclusion, as we end this conversation, that you do find that healing. Yeah. And, and I hope that this platform brings you that healing. And just one more question. Do you think, not to get back together, but is there any ounce of hope that you and, and Latoya will just be civil and forgive each other? Um, you know, Lungelo, whether you want to believe it or not, um, actually, this whole fight, right, has compromised me and my work in the most unimaginable way. Yeah. 
Yeah. Or let me rather say, it had potential okay. of compromising me in the most unimaginable way. But because I serve a living God, yeah. right? Yeah. So many miraculous things yeah. have happened. Yeah. There's been shifts, mm. like the way my life is working out right now. Yeah. The people that I've surrounded myself with, mm. the prayer warriors mm. that I've surrounded myself with. Yeah. Right now, much as I am still weak in the Lord, much as I'm still weak in prayer, the way I am fighting mm. uh, is proving to be the most beautiful thing or process and journey that I'm going through. Mm. Just to let you know, when this whole thing started, right? That was the one who was going around planting the seed. Eventually, a journalist found out about this. So they sent me questions, right? So my publicist, uh, Pel Magegan Ngube, then sits me down and says, no, 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 guys. I know this is a mess, whatever, but we are going to phone Latoya's publicist, that's Chaba Kubar, right? Her and I are going to take a decision. We are going to do a public uh, joint, statement. joint statement and then... Mas Chaba never answered Pell. Pell called Latoya. Latoya said to, to, to Pell, only now you call me. Fuck off. All we wanted, none of this would be happening. All we wanted was to take out a joint statement to say we are parting ways amicably. So let me tell you what's happening, right? Given the industry that I'm in, this had serious potential of damaging my career. But Akiri, apparently she's releasing a song. So any publicity for her is good publicity. Yeah. So this was how low huh? these people could go because this is when now this the journalist started running wild because at the launch she said this is her healing song because of the trauma that I have caused her. Let her must go revisit all her rape traumas. She must go revisit her childhood parenting her parents trauma. She must revisit. She must not come and point a finger at me. Actually, she must ask questions about how I am surviving the trauma that she has caught, caused me. Because she found me healed. She found me knowing myself. She found me with all the self-love. She found me self-sufficient. She took everything away from me. She turned me into a mess that she is. But thanks to the God that I am serving, that I chose to fight. This marriage with Leto nearly finished Mimkulu. Another story for another day. When I, I will come, actually, we can't even have coffee. It can just yeah, be a nice yeah, little chat yeah. uh, outside of the yeah, studio. Because we're running out where, of time. Yeah. Where out of pain, out of emotional pain. Yeah. Now, I've never suffered from depression in my life. Up until this marriage, where I literally could not even put food in my mouth. I was going through so much pain. I thought I'm getting a heart attack every single day. I was vomiting blood because I could not eat anything. I lost so much weight. I lost so... I, I was finished and cool. But God restores. I serve a living God. God restores. The, 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 you know, just the other day, I, I broke into song with my other aunt um, and I said you know this woman's knees did not bleed for me not to survive this life for me not to succeed for me not to show sure. yeah, I'm cool I'm getting emotional yeah. we getting can emotional, go on forever. Yeah. thank you so much getting it's emotional. been a privilege yeah. and as I said I hope that this conversation as this platform is a healing space, contributes to that healing journey you're on. And thank you guys for listening. If you're listening on audio platforms, thank you for watching. If you're watching us visually, um, I hope you learned from this conversation that life is very gray and there is truth that you may not see beyond the truth that you think you know. I'll see you in the next episode.
Introducing the epitome of luxury living, Galu Luxury Villas and Suites, your private sanctuary of opulence and elegance. Nestled amongst the lush, sun-kissed landscapes of Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, this Galu Luxury Villa is a paradise of tranquility, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the neighborhood. Step into a world of refined luxury where every detail has been meticulously crafted to create an atmosphere of sophistication and comfort. This villa is kept within a gated and secure property for your peace of mind. The Kalu Villa is available for both short-term and long-term stays, making it the ideal location for your next vacation or special event. This villa boasts spacious living areas and floor-to-ceiling windows that flood the interior with natural light, making you feel at one with the surrounding beauty paired with multiple terraces, an outdoor lounge and a dining area. Live the dream, make memories and indulge in the life you deserve. Contact us today to book your stay or to learn more about this exquisite property. Your oasis of opulence awaits.